Here we're going to demonstrate the use of stabilizing plates when mounting a trans pack on a set of steel doubles. First thing you want to do is take your wing and position it on the tanks so that the center bands and bolts go through the grommets on the wing itself. You'll notice I've already removed the lumbar pad from the trans pack that we're going to use. Place the trans pack over the tanks so that you sandwiched the wing between the tanks and the trans pack. Once again, you're going to line up the grommets on the trans pack to the bolts coming from the actual bands on the tanks themselves. At this point, take your first stabilizing plate and use it to lock in place the trans pack and the wing onto the tanks. Next, place your washer over the band and use the wing nut to secure it in place. At this point, I'll normally take the second stabilizing plate and place it on the trans pack and the bolts. Now that the stabilizing plates are in place, I want to make them as absolutely as tight as possible. Part of the reason that we've removed the lumbar is that this facilitates this. At this point, take the lumbar and put it back in place over the trans pack. Now your wing and your trans pack are secured to the actual tanks themselves. The stabilizing plates do a couple of things. One, they secure that soft pack to the tanks that way making it as absolutely as stable as possible. It also helps distribute much of the weight away from the grommets themselves to the rest of the actual uh, semi-rigid plate on the trans pack itself. 